，当然大陆房学习广东话。Welcome Lesson Six: Learn Cantonese. To be based upon Song Number Thirty, He Lifted Me. Ta Ching Gang Wo. In loving kindness, Jesus came, my soul in mercy to reclaim, and from the death of sin and shame, through grace He lifted me. The sinking sand He lifted me with tender hand. He lifted me. Then shades of night to plains of light. Oh, praise His name! He lifted me. Dao Chu Ye So, Ya King Yi Loi, Why You Sing O Mung Ta Chi Oi, Ta Chun Sao Yu, Do O Na Hoi. Dan chu sing sao gao ngo, chung fu nai chung ta ching gao ngo, yun chi oi sao ta ching gao ngo, chung ha an chung ta hing hong long guang, dan mei chu mei ta ching gao ngo. Let's look at the first line. Gaoju Yunnan University is for the word Savior, Savior Jesus. And we have a new vocabulary word Yao. And Ting refers to sky or heaven. Yi Loi, a new vocabulary word. Y in regards or towards. You see some new vocabulary word. Mo I, Mung Ta Chi Oi. Let's examine some of those vocabulary words. Yao is the vocabulary words for cause or reason or from something, due to something. Number two, yi is word, not a common word for an, but can be used for an or yet or but. So we're going to focus for today uh, in this series is the word you. You means to want. Or to demand for something, or to ask for something. For example, if someone wants to say "kuyu maya," you recall from last week's lesson. What does that mean? Well, "kuyu" is the uh, colloquial phrase for the, um, the uh, uh, he or him. All right. Uh, he or him wants what? In English, we say, "What does he want?" In Chinese, we tend to uh, reverse the order.、Uh, he wants what? Instead, of what does he want? Another way, as we pointed out last week,、uh, is the word instead of "mia" is "mia." Mia is commonly used. Mia is almost the identical pronunciation for how to say what in Mandarin. So you say "mia." Uh, Mandarin speakers can probably understand you. They say "mut yet,"、yeah, maybe, maybe not. So "ne you mut yet,"、yeah, what does that mean?、Um, what What do you want? What about this phrase here? "Ta you mut yet, ha guan dong wa." I here is a more formal use of the word he or she wants or don't want to learn Cantonese. And here's several words here. Koi de yu music ban. Koi de refers to、uh, they. They is a pluralizing uh, ad, uh, particle. Koi de means、uh, they. So he or she is they.、Uh, want or don't want to eat、uh, food. Fun is the word for cooked rice or a meal.、Uh, you can also say "ne de you hot ma ya." Here is "ne de" means you guys, you all. You might say, "Want to learn what? What do you want to learn?" Tamun you but you have fun. 
is another way of saying the same thing two lines above. Koi de yum yusik ban tamun as a more literal or more formal way of saying they want or don't want to eat uh, food. And C, uh, we learn the word ting si. Ting refers to sky or heaven. So a sky or heavenly messenger, we're talking about angel. Ting si is an angel. And chioi, uh, a tender, affectionate way of uh, showing affection or greetings to, especially by an elder to their children. The next line, Ta Chung Sao Yu Doi O Nga Hoi, Fan Chu Sing Sao Gao Wo. Chung, number six, from or obey, observe, relax. Uh, number seven, Sao Yu means baffle or humiliate. Number eight is Nga, which means to like smash or to crush. Uh, number nine, hoi is to harm or injure. Da hoi, I mean to uh, strike and cause injury. San chert, number ten. San means to stretch. And chert is the word for uh, to uh, exit, to go out. You see that a lot, see at airports or bus station or train station. You see this character, chert hao. Well, see, yep, how for uh, how, which means the exit, or yep, how, which means this is the ancient, this is where you enter or go in. So, sun chert means to stretch to go out, which means to reach out. I want to focus on number 11, sao, which means hand, and you have the word uh, sao ding wa. We learned in an earlier lesson that ding is electric. And wa is uh, the word for uh, word, for speech or language. So ding wa is electric words, which means a telephone. And sao ding wa, which means handphone, which means, uh, it means uh, loosely a cell phone, sao ding wa. Phone means to help or to assist or defend. And there's the word bong sao, which could be a verb or it could be a noun. Bong sao, which could mean like uh, help, lend a helping hand. Or it could mean a bong sao, depending on how you use it. It means one who gives or renders helpful hand. One who assists. In other words, a helper or assistant. Goi is op. You have the word ngoi. Ngoi is an informal way of saying thank you. The more formal way to say, uh, let's say, jie jie, or let's say, uh, do jie, meaning many, many thanks. But you say ngoi, it means like, uh, informal thank you, mean, uh, not serious, it means, uh, uh, casual thanks. As opposed to say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Do jie, do jie, do jie. You say ngoi means just thanks. But it also could mean please, uh, like a request. Example, if you're pretty say, I'm going to bong sao wo, that means, uh, could you please uh, give me a hand? Or see, if we employ the use of the possessive, like the apostrophe S, in the literary form, is dick. So you add it after the, uh, the pronoun, wo dick, ne dick, Tadek, but in colloquial use or in everyday spoken form, we oftentimes use the word ge. Ngoge, nege, koige. Example, someone would say, Goi hai ngoge bong sao. That means, he is my assistant or he is my helper. And let's look at the next line and the refrain. Let's look at some of these words here. Wu, uh, see, is a word that means, uh, uh, in conjunction with, uh, uh, joy off, which means, uh, very simple, very, very, but 
based on how you use it, could be uh, uh, or something along that line. Something filthy, polluted. Nai refers to dirt, clay, mud. Now let's focus on number 14, Jung, which means the middle or center. So you have the words such as Jung Guok, Guok or Gok means country, Jung Gok or Jung Guok in the middle country or China. Uh, a word that you can see a lot in many signs, you go through Asian every you see these two characters, Jung Sam. And here is the word Jung Sam means center. It doesn't mean the middle, but it means the um, operation center or where you see the hub of business is. So you see an automotive center. So you have different characters and you have at the end, Jung Sam. Or as in San Gabriel, San Gabriel Boulevard, we have the Christian Herald Health Center and you have at the end, Jung Sam or center. So it's a business hub. Qing Gao means to save or rescue. And I wanna focus on number 16, Yung, to, to use, make use of or to apply. Now, connected with that, you find the word lick. Lick would mean, uh, uh, see, power. It means strength, energy, force. So if you see the word yun lick, someone will say, yun lick, yun lick. It means to, as you see number 16, yun, to apply more force. Uh, uh, use your muscles. I mean, put your back to it. All right, uh, apply more force or energy. That person said, oh, no more lick. That means, that, oh, I don't have any strength. I don't have any more energy. More lick. And you look at the word sum. Sum means heart or mind. Both be uh, pictographically like a different lobes of the heart. If you hear a person say, yung sum, one says say, yung lick, which means to Put your back to it and put your mind to it. In other words, uh, don't be so casual. Yung sum means uh, be more conscientious, be more sincere. Think about it. Apply your mind to it. A term that you should learn because commonly uh, some, it's a very practical word for still sum. So if you're going with someone as late at night and someone's approaching you, friend of uh, in front of you, walking towards you, or someone walking nearby, behind you, and you want to say something to uh, your family members so about being detected or being suspicious, you say, feel some. Feel means small, and some means hard. So small heart, which means don't have a brazen heart, or one who take chances, a risk taker. Don't be so courageous or brave. It, have a timid heart, which means, translated, means be careful. So if um, you see something a little funny or suspicious, you might whisper to it, sum. that means be careful. Uh, important term to use. And then continue on into the next line in the refrain. Okay. With a ha am, which means hot means black or dark. Ha'an means uh, darkness or darkly. Hing means to offer or to show. Leung Guang and the second character Guang means bright. Let's look at these words here. These first four sets mean practically the same. Ni do ho ha. Ni do ni means here. Ni do means here. Ni chu means here. I'm going to put it ni shu means here. And jie loi means here. The Chinese characters for ni and jie are not the same characters, but it means the same. O means very much so. Hot means dark. So it means uh, it's very dark here. This place is very dark. Look at the next set of four. Ni means here, na means there. 
Jia means here, Na means there. Na do ma is the negative particle and the and the sound. Na shu ma, we say na loi but ha, which is more literary. But na bing, bing means sai, which means that side, like maybe that side of the room, or that side of the building. But ha, which means not, it's not dark. Right? Jie loi ho ha, na bing but ha. This side, okay, this room or here is very dark. Uh, see, over there is not dark. Uh, it could also just say na, spoken for you say gua. Like G-A-W, Gua Do, Tai Ha, Tai means very, so it's not like, it, it means extremely dark. Like you hold your hand in front of you, you can't even see your hand. Or Gua Chu, Tai Ha, or Gua Shu, Tai Ha, over there is very, very dark. And that concludes lesson number six, based upon the song, He Lifted Me.